It just got real! Hello guys, Trayboy1 here with another epic day, uh, with uh, another gameplay of Dino D-Day. I hope you enjoy this video. We're going to do two rounds and uh, see who wins both times. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Let's let's begin right now. Alright. Alright. So, uh, allies or axes? Uh, too many people on the axes. I'm going to choose... What character do I want? I like this guy. Alright, I got the pie at. This is that's one hint, guys. When you're uh, when you have this gun, always get ammo because you only start out with five. But if you get ammo, you get ten. Ten reloads. Ten um, uh, ten little missiles or whatever these things are. Rockets. Okay. Ah! I got this bird eyeballing me. No, I got people. Ah! All right, all right. I gotta get into the zone. That was a warm up. That was just a warm up. <sighs> Take big, big breaths. Big breaths. <sighs> okay. Gotta get that reload. I'm gonna save my energy, my running energy, until I get to the battlefield or at least close to it. Uh, okay. Do I see any enemies? Gosh! Oh gosh! Ah! Stupid birds! They always shoot that stuff on you, and I can't see anymore. It's like some acid stuff. What is it? It's like mucus? A mix of mucus and an acid? Like, just blinds you and takes away half your life. It's weird. I've never really thought of a World War II having dinosaurs. Uh, I've always, I mean, I, I've always loved the, the war, like, itself. I mean, I don't like the war, like, its reasons or whatever, but I just always thought it was fascinating. And, um... I, I already know how it uh, started, how it ends. I also I was also interested in also um, World War One, which was pretty cool stuff as well. Um, just like the the bat, just the war itself. But um, gosh, oh gosh, help! Oh my. Um, but uh, so yeah, now you know what my favorite war is or wars, you know. But uh, so yeah, that was, that was pretty cool, I guess. Getting to know the uh, the reasoning, the reasoning. It's kind of interesting how a whole entire country kind of turned to this one to uh, total talent, um, Tarian, I think it's what it's called, a uh, state, and uh, under Hitler, uh, like a dictatorship. Well, exactly like a dictatorship. But um, oh my gosh, if I was in, if I was part of the army in in the Sim World War II, I'd die instantly. Like it's crazy. Look how many times. I, and that's one thing. When I'm playing games, I kind of imagine myself being in the army. Like I don't even want to be in the army in real life. But um, because like, you know, have you ever pl played a uh, paintball and you get shot all the time? Like, imagine being in Afghanistan or wherever and then you just get shot. Like, <sighs> see. And then I get shot like all over the place in paintball, but um, imagining that those were real bullets coming right at you—it's kind of—it's uh, an interesting thing to think about. You know, it's a—it's an—it's an experience. Yes, finally. All right. That's the thing. I—I I like this guy. Um, I was actually going to get this guy the medic because he gets to heal himself, which is an awesome thing, and he has like an awesome gun too. But it does it's not like a one-shot kill or anything. Ah, so close, so close. Before you croaked, you stayed alive. Finally, I 
got him! I got him! Yes! I got him! Oh, gosh. Ah! 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 Yes! Wait, I helped him! I assisted. Okay, okay. I'm doing some progress, guys. I'm having some progress. I didn't think about that after I said the phrase, it's like... That was terrible for my part, but I still got the guy, but I had to use an entire... Sorry about that, uh, yeah, he gets crazy sometimes. Alright, have a good one, guys, and, uh, keep watching my videos. Love you, and, uh, peace out, for reals.